like pain alone again Where are my friends? I need to change things So we're on push day, which means training day Calories, training day, macros, which means extra carbs So we've got 60 grams of oats here Powdered peanut butter, PB Fit, this is 10 grams Then we've got zero calorie maple syrup that I've put in the microwave as well Holy shit so we've got maple and peanut butter oats. And this is my, not pre-workout meal, second pre-workout meal. Second to la, oh, you know what I mean, boys. So this is, I've got this meal and then one more meal and we're training. So getting a bit more carved up than I normally do in the morning. But look at the state of that. Wet that in it, look at that. Push day, push day, push day, push day coming up. And we're just making some pre-workout. Do not fucking miss from Train by JP Nutrition. I've already got a scoop in here from the other day, so I'm back in another scoop in. So we're going big. I'm fucking knackered. Mm. I was like three quarters and a bit more. And we are ready to go. So we're gonna neck this, get in the car, hit some push. First session in five days. Hopefully feeling fresh, probably not. Do it. Right, me and Robin are off to the gym. In push day. And I'm not training five days because that's what the boss ordered to reduce some fatigue. I've been fucked in my brain. So first session back, five days. See what happens. Still fucking tired. Are you looking forward to training? So we've just had like double scoop pre-workout. We've got a scoop and a half pre-pump. So I'm hoping to see some fresh, fresh gains in the gym today. And I don't mean hitting PBs, that's fucking not happening, let's be honest. But uh, seeing some fresh striations and veins. The arms are freshly shaven as well. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we'll uh, see you there in a minute. So let's talk through today's workout, or at what at least it's supposed to be, depending on how busy the gym is. Generally, me and Robin do a good job of getting the exact workout that we want in because of the time we train it's quite fortunate but it's sunday so you never know what people are up to we have so this is a push day chest chest focus push day so you saw in one of my last vids that my upper body day is shoulder focus so this is push for uh, chest focus so we've got a prime incline press absolutely love that so there'll be a top set and a back off set on there then we have the incline hammer strength chest press which will be one top set two back offs i believe so that's the main main chest work and then going into our shoulder work so we have a lying cuffed lateral raise and we're doing rep matches on that for like sets of 20 so it's going to absolutely blow up shoulders and we've got hammer strength side laterals four sets i think into some cross body extensions with a the cuff then overhead extensions with the cuff as well all single arm so yeah that's the that'll be the push, full push day we'll get footage of everything involved so yeah tell you what let's go into a montage of that workout right now You won't see me stop, no, you won't see me quit I'm gonna make it to the top if it's the last thing I did Never catch me, man, I'm gone, cause I'll be working off the grid Grinding through all the pain, I said I'd do it and I did I'm the type to work until my hands fucking bleed I'm the type to fight when others fall into their knees I'm the type to ask for more pain, get it please Cause on the other side of pain is everything I fucking need I got a hunger inside of me, a flame ignites entirely I work daily quietly to build a perfect dynasty A place where my mind is free from the chains of society I take all anxiety and turn it to the finer things Oh, don't take it slow, I got these places to go I wanna grow, I wanna be something more A different mode, I'll hit if I gotta go Cause I got something to show, the world it one day will know You won't see me stop, no, you won't see me quit I'm gon' make it to the top if it's the last thing I did Never catch me, man, I'm gone Cause I'll be working off the grid Grinding through all the pain, I said I'd do it and I did I'm the type to work until my hands fucking bleed I'm the type to fight when others fall into their knees I'm the type to ask for more pain, give it please Cause on the other side of pain is everything I fucking need so 
just got back from training. Push, look at this for a post lookout meal. Oh my God, we got 300 gram of chips, pot of gravy, and two chicken burgers, homemade, with lettuce and mayo. Oh, it gets down my neck. Right guys, look at me my fucking microphone, like a pro. Look at this tiny little thing. This tiny little thing. But yeah, guys, I'm not, I'm just gonna be legit with you. Like, I'm on my fucking ass at the moment. <laughs> And we switch it on for these videos. We switch it on to work. Switch it on for Instagram. But I'm fucking, I'm, I'm, I'm suffering in this diet. There's no doubt about it. And there's more to come off and there's more to push. But fuck me, like, shit's hard. Like, bodybuilding's hard. Dieting down is hard. And people might say, oh, it's fucking, it's your own fault. Yeah, whatever. But we're, we're pushing towards a goal. And shit's hard. Whether I'm choosing to do it or not. Like, sometimes we choose to do hard shit. And fuck me, the fatigue and the lack of emotional resilience and the lack of patience are just small shit that normally wouldn't piss me off. And the hunger, the fuck. I just want to be real with you all. I'm fucking feeling it. I really am. And we switch it on fucking Instagram. We switch on for clients. We switch on for check-ins as we fucking should. But holy shit, I'm suffering. I really am. Ugh. Right, fuck it. Let's move on. <laughs> so this is pretty much how you'll find me the majority of the day now. If I'm not working. I'm fucking lying down. I'm not really. I'm on 15k steps. And I'm not doing fucking nothing. I'm still moving. Still doing shit. Fucking hell. I'm lying in bed though. It's Friday night. And I'm going to watch this Arnold documentary. If you've not seen it yet. Anything to do with Arnold in his life. is sick. And it's inspiring. And it's motivating. And it's what you need. When you're feeling like shit. And you're hungry. And you've got a big goal. That you're trying to achieve. Fucking Arnold is the one for that. Let's watch that. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to eat some fucking ice cream in a bit. Holy shit, boys. Ice cream is going in three times a day now with a scoop away, maybe a little bit less than a scoop away. Almond milk, I'm leaving it at that. I really am because I just want volume in my stomach. And if I can do that three times a day, I'll put the calories on the screen here, what that'll be. Um, but yeah, let's do that. First of all, guys, do I suit a red hat? I didn't have a hat on then. I just grabbed Robin's hat because my hair is a fucking mess. And when I say my hair, I'm lack of hair is a fucking mess. So today, right, we've been through diet prep. We've been through push day workout. A fucking good push day workout. That was hard to get through. Loaded up on pre. Robin did a good job of keeping motivated. We had a good session. Content felt good. Did some pausing after it. Hands down. Hands down the best my physique has ever looked. Hands down. Buzzing with. Like, ah, guys, I've got such fucking big goals. Very focused, trying to keep my head in the game. I've got a vision of what I want to achieve with life, business, my body. And it is hard to stay switched on when you are fucking tired. And I hate to keep saying it in this video, but I'm being real. I want, I want you to know that this process is not just all looking sick and having a, a great physique and having abs and stuff like that. It's not, not the case when it comes to, to physique and bodybuilding and prep. It's fucking hard work. My secret fat loss weapon at the moment that I got in last week cost me 180 pound. What do you do when you don't want to move much when you're in the later days of prep? What do you do? You sit down all the fucking time and you try not to. So your step count goes lower. So therefore your calorie output is lower and your fat loss slows down or your fat loss stalls. So you think you've got to increase cardio or drop calories. And that's the last thing you want to do. So how do we combat that? Like, no, it's beautiful enough to go for a walk, but also got work to do so you can't always just go out and fucking do it whatever what if it's raining right now it's 30 degrees so i can't be asked going out and getting fucking red hot no i cannot so this is what we've got is my secret fat loss hack that will keep you moving burning calories keep your step count high and to be honest get your step count as high as you fucking want you can use it whilst working you can use it watching tv you can do it whilst having a piss if you've got fucking great accuracy but i don't recommend that is this motherfucker Oosh. we've got at home treadmill as you can see from the thumbnail right Oosh. and i know if you're watching my videos if you saw my last video i ended the video walking on it but i didn't really talk about it however this is like the number one fat loss hack is increasing your steps we talk about how to increase fat loss how to keep fat loss going when metabolism slows when you're getting fatigued walking is the easiest way do not slow down when you want to sit like i am now is don't sit because that's what happens you do start to slow down don't do that. So if you want to 
keep fat loss high. If you want to keep things going, which I'm doing currently, and what I'm doing as well is 10 minute walks in order to aid digestion. After every meal, I've not done that today, but I'm going to do it for the rest of my meals. I've got like three or four meals left, so we are good. So that's another 40 minutes of walking, which will equal thousands of steps. And it's the easiest way, guys, I keep saying it, to keep pushing your fat loss along. You don't have to go stupidly low calorie all the time. You don't have to do hours and hours of cardio. Yes, you should be probably doing some cardio, but increasing your activity through like neat steps, simple moving around. You can do this while fucking flicking through Instagram whilst watching a YouTube video, listen to podcasts, to music whilst working, whatever. Increase steps. Buy yourself one of these. Don't fuck around. Don't complain. It's 180 pounds. Put a bit of money to the side. Stop eating fucking takeaways. That costs 30, 40 quid these days. You know, a month's worth of not buying them can buy you uh, at home space saver treadmill. It's almost like I'm sponsored. I'm not sponsored. <laughs> I'm not paid to sell the shit. But yeah, that's my fat loss hat, guys. And I don't want that to be anticlimactic. But there's never a secret fucking answer when it comes to your physique and fat loss. It just is not a secret answer. It's all basic shit. You can't trick the body. The body is the body and it works how it works. No trickery, no bullshit, okay? But that's what I'll be doing. I'm going to get on this now. 10 minutes. I need to train some back, which you're probably going to see in the next video. But yeah, for now, guys, the update is I've got not long left, just over a few weeks till this prep's done. I've got a check in tomorrow with Christian, an early one. To make some adjustments don't know what that is where he's re removing food where he's increasing food i guess we'll find out but i will update you in the next video so stay tuned for that and i appreciate you following appreciate you listening appreciate if you like the video if you're not subscribed please subscribe we're on a, we're on a trajectory at the moment trying to get that monetization goal thousand subscribers so if you like it guys please help me out you want to talk to me leave a comment below but other than that have a great day remember always be in a continual pursuit of progression. See you in the next one.